Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for a speed build. So today we are building a single story Victorian home. And it is for, it's a family home. It's for a small family. And honestly, when I started building this house, I kind of, in the back of my head, I had the Burb family, which I did a create a sim on them last week, I want to say. And they are a very well-known family from the Sims franchise generation, uh, specifically the Sims 2. So if you want to go check out the Burb family, maybe go ahead and check that video out if you're not familiar with them. But yeah, I didn't, you know, I wasn't thinking, oh, I'm going to create a house for them. But once I started furnishing this house and everything I was like you know what I could definitely see the Burb family living here because in their family biography uh, it's mentioned that they moved from the hustle bustle of the big city so they're probably from San Mashuno or something and they wanted to come to you know a, a more family oriented place um, you know like Willow Creek uh, John his family you know like to farm I guess you would say so they planted and he kind of wanted to carry on the tradition uh, of that so I think it was definitely uh, his idea to make the big move Jennifer the wife she's kind of more ambitious as far as she really likes fashion uh, so I, I don't really know if this area would suit her but nonetheless they're giving it a shot maybe to be closer to family I don't know but I think that this house would suit them perfectly or you know just <laughs> any small family that you know you you want to you want to play if your sims need a new house I think this is the perfect little single story Victorian house for them <laughs> it is actually a three bedroom house I have it furnished for two because like I said I was thinking of the Burb family. That's kind of helped me when I was decorating, just keeping it in the back of my mind. Um, as I've mentioned in, you know, my Sims 3 to Sims 4 series, it's just a whole lot easier for me to know the family that I'm recreating the house for and kind of have an idea. It just makes, you know, decorating the interior and everything a lot easier so anyways uh, I do have it furnished for a child and you know an adult but you could definitely use the room that I use it's like a little office room for an extra bedroom maybe the burbs will have another child you know what that's cool they can take that laptop that I put in the study stick it in their inventory and make a nursery voila <laughs> but overall this house is very very cute because it's small but like it's small but it's three bedroom that makes sense so I really have been enjoying um, single story family homes recently just because everything's kind of right there all of my sims are, you know on the same level i'm not having to go up and downstairs trying to find them uh, so i thought that this house turned out really really cute uh, for what i was going for and i think it fits in very nicely with either you know windenburg not windenburg not windenburg uh <laughs> Oh my gosh, Willow Creek, there you go, and Newcrest. I think it actually would probably look better in Newcrest, but I I was thinking Victorian style, and I think that Willow Creek kind of has that vibe, but also I think Newcrest is like an extension of Willow Creek, you know, in the backgrounds, the shell houses, it kind of gives me the same vibe, but anyways, <laughs> I think the house turned out really cute, and the backyard not very big not very much going on but uh it's okay <laughs> i really like how i put the white fence around the front yard and the back it just gives me a cozy little family vibes so it's just the perfect little non-starter starter home <laughs> and if you guys know me you know that typically um i don't necessarily when i play with sims or if i create a sim i don't necessarily put them in like a starter house and have them work from the bottom sometimes i kind of uh pretend that they you know 
put a down payment on the house or, you know, they have a mortgage to pay or something. So they kind of, realistically, I'm not going to like move them into a freaking half a million dollar house, you know. But realistically, I think that this is a, a decent little starter family home. And if you hear a dog whining in the background, <laughs> that is my Chloe. Um, it is actually, it, well, it's been raining all day here, but it just started back and it's thundering now. It's been storming on and off, but she is terrified, terrified of, you know, the rain and bad weather. So if you hear her crying at any point, just ignore her. She'll be okay. I promise. I'm patting her. She'll be fine. She's just a little extra and dramatic. <laughs> but anyways, back to the speed build here. I don't even know where I was at, but here we are doing the landscaping, which I think turned out, um, all right, you know, I, uh, <laughs> I was kind of like, okay, I don't know what to do, because I, I wasn't really sure if I liked how I had the fence in the front yard, partially in the front, and then I created a separate fenced area in the back. I wasn't too sure if I liked that because I've never really done that in my landscaping, but I think it turned out cute anyways. Um, so yeah, the <laughs> can't talk. The front yard is definitely my favorite <laughs> over the back, uh, just because I feel like there's just not a lot of room back there, but it's not a very big lot, so. I don't really do a lot of furnishing in the yard, backyard at least. I do end up, at, towards the end of the video, I put a swing set back there because at first I wasn't thinking of a family to live here until I went in and started furnishing it. So that's why I kind of held off from the backyard because I really wasn't sure what to do since, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of space. But anyways on the front porch i was going to use those wooden chairs right there which are definitely my favorite chairs in the game probably i just i, I love how like rustic they look and southern and country but i ended up going more towards like a patio looking style chair i just think it looked a lot better and put a little plant out there so yeah I just think the home looks very inviting. White picket fence, little dream family starter home. It's perfect. <laughs> and on the inside of the house, honestly, this house took me <sighs> as small as it is. Well, I mean, it's not small, but it's not like huge, you know. You would think that I would have like flown through this. And originally, I thought I was going to because the exterior and the landscaping came together so nicely. Once I got to the interior, I was really pleased with like the living room and everything. But then I, I don't know. I just kind of got discouraged. I don't, I don't, it just wasn't, I wasn't feeling it once I got to the dining room. I, it's kind of awkward it's just different okay it's not my favorite floor plan just because the living room and dining rooms kind of squish together and then there's the separate you know little archway that leads into the kitchen uh it's just, i don't know it's not my favorite but it works and i've never well actually i have i take that back i've done this layout in the living room as far as like the couch and the tv and fireplace one time and it was in my grandparents Spanish villa, Spanish abode, whatever I ended up calling that house, where, you know, the couches are kind of like facing each other and the TV is on the opposite wall. Usually I put the couch, you know, directly in front of the TV, but with the archway there, it just wasn't possible, so... I ended up doing it this way, which is a little bit different, like I said, and unique to what I usually do. So, I'm not mad about it. I think it turned out really cute. And I did put a little child's, children's little chair there. And I did use the one for my first pet stuff, which I know a lot of people don't really care for that pack. <laughs> uh, but I just, I thought the color scheme of like the little rabbit or hamster, whatever that is, looked better for the, you know, the little floor plan color scheme whatever that I was going for <laughs> so anyway this is kind of where I was like okay yeah I can definitely see the burbs living here I can see them moving here uh and this right here I imagine would be little Lucy's craft that she brought back from school to you know give to her mom to decorate the living room with so <sighs> yeah <laughs> also I off camera in just a second you'll see I kind of like magically a picture appears there okay so I had 
heard Sim Lacy or Dawn talk about these pictures. And I know that on her gallery, on her page on Origin, she has um, like these, these rooms with all these pictures on them. And they're not necessarily custom content pictures. They're just pictures from like different collages in the game they're like in-game pictures but they're like blown up and i'm not really sure if she ever did a video explaining how she did that or where she got that from i just remember you know seeing her use them every now and then and i download her builds all the time um my biggest inspiration builder i say it all the time i adore her and her builds but anyways i've seen them on her gallery i've just never you know, downloaded them to see what they're all about. So off camera, I did go on to the gallery and I took the wall and I, I placed some of the pictures there and I like them just because they're different. Okay, I get so freaking bored of the same old clutter, the same old pictures. It just gets really, really old using the same stuff over and over again. And I know that I can use custom content and spice things up, but I do like my builds to be accessible to everyone and on the gallery easy to find. So I try to stay away from using custom content. But anyways, as you'll see, I do put that one picture right there with the boat um, in the living room. And then in the hallway, I do leave some pictures. Um, I kind of make it like a, kind of like a collage on the hallway wall, but... I did it off camera, but if you download this house on the gallery, the pictures aren't there. <laughs> I ended up having to delete them because it was reading it as custom content, which I didn't think it was custom content because when I go to her room builds, I don't have the custom content checked and the pictures are there as like a room. So I'm not really sure what that's all about. But anyways, I just wanted to go ahead and point that out to you guys that if you do download this house, those pictures are not going to be there anymore. But I think it's fine. <laughs> um, I don't think there necessarily needs to be, you know, a picture where I had them. But also, if you are interested in like playing this game, this game, oh my gosh, this family. <laughs> uh, I don't know, one of my favorite things to do because honestly... I like this house so much and I love the bird family. I kind of want to start them as a current household. And, um, okay, okay, pause. I want to do that. But let me just go ahead and dress this real quick because I've had a ton of people ask me about Sunset Valley. Uh, Sunset Valley, that came out really weird. A Sunset Valley save file for my Sims 3 to Sims 4 series. I have started on that, okay? Uh, I have one specifically for me right now that I've been playing in because all of my Sims that I've recreated for that save or, you know, that series included custom content, which obviously I have on my computer. So I have one separate for me that includes custom content. And I also went in and created some families from the family bin. Um, which I should have recorded, and I did not. <laughs> um, but anyways, I added them into the world, and I'm currently playing the Zodiac Challenge right now. Or not challenge, le well, yeah, Legacy Challenge. Uh, and it's been fun, um, but I, I don't know because I feel like <laughs> I'm kind of bored with it already just because I don't feel like it. We look, we have Island Adven Island Living, whatever it is. I'll about to say Island Adventure. Island Living coming out soon. I just don't think there's any generation that is appropriate for, you know, me moving my Sims to <laughs> Solani. And I want to. So, anyways, I think I may start playing with the Burb family. But, anyways, back to the save file. I do want to let you guys know I'm working on it. It's going to take me a while. And I'll probably release it once the baby's born because once the baby's here if you think my videos aren't very consistent now they're probably going to be worse because i uh, hello a newborn and i know newborns sleep a lot and i could probably you know do some building and playing and creating and voiceovering and editing and all that in my spare time but another big issue with uploading and whatnot is um the fact that the internet here sucks. I cannot upload anything where I live. <laughs> I have to either go to my mother's or my grandma's or either down the road to Walmart and <laughs> sit in the parking lot and literally connect to my hotspot because 
the service out here, the broadband, whatever service my boyfriend's parent use absolutely sucks. And it's not like I'm in the middle of nowhere. So it's kind of a bummer. But anyways, I will be working on that Sunset Valley save file. Well, I guess you would call it, you know, a little short maternity leave I'll be on. Um, you may see something here and there, but I'm, I'm going to work on it because I'm still going to play The Sims. I'm still going to be staying at home with the baby for a few months. I'm going to be a little bit bored when the baby's, like, sleeping. So, trust me, I am going to be taking all of those families. And I will be taking all of the custom content off of them. And making them more suitable for everybody. And of course, the houses and the builds and everything, none of that included custom content, but uh, I did not limit myself to certain packs. So yeah, you might just have to like replace everything. Uh, but so far, so good. My little save file that I created for me with all those sims uh, turned out really nice. So I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. But I just wanted to give you guys an update because a lot of people were like, hey, uh, are you going to do it or not? Because I know I've mentioned it. and know a lot of you were like, yes. Uh, but that takes a lot of work. There was like 20, um, it was like 30, almost 30 families. I'm have to go back in and recreate them pretty much without custom content which is not going to be as fun they're going to look a little bit different but nonetheless i still don't want you guys to download and have naked uh sims walking around so i am going to be working on that and probably just some more save files um uh, we'll see. I don't know. It just depends on how much time I have. Uh, but we'll, I don't know. Something I've always wanted to do is just I don't want to put a lot of pressure on myself to get it done. But since the Sunset Valley is pretty much done, that's kind of like a given. It's coming. It just takes time. But anyways, back to the speed build. I'm not really sure why my dogs are crying right now. I don't know if you can hear that. They're being like titty babies. And they keep following me back here. And they're like walking around like they're lost. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> Anyways, back to the speed build. Um, <laughs> that was just the master bedroom. Which I did struggle with. And as you saw, it kind of like shifted scenes to where there was already a bed and everything there um I, it took me a minute to find what kind of flow <laughs> or color scheme that i wanted to have in the bedroom there and i think that that one turned out so nice the all white furniture and i love that comforter on that mattress it's probably one of my favorites that mattress that bed um but yeah i think it turned out really nice and i did use the makeup mirror vanity mirror but i didn't put an actual chair there because honestly when i use those i like to use them for looks but i never have my sims actually sit down and put on makeup because uh the makeup that they put on is not very cute so i ended up just putting a little ottoman underneath there where it kind of like was like it was slid under and just kind of cluttered the top of it mostly for looks and i think that that was fine i really like how that turned out and then here is the child's bedroom but for the specific family in mind this would be lucy's bedroom and i think it turned out really cute i don't think i've ever done a blue theme for a girl's room I don't know why I just I don't I don't think I have but I really love the light color blue on the walls and I think her room turned out really really cute I gave her a dollhouse I usually size it down a lot smaller than that but I decided to you know she had a whole wall full or whole wall space for the toys so anyways yeah that's what I decided to do and I gave her a little iPad as well so she can work on some of her skills and whatnot and play games on her iPad because you know generally that's just what kids have nowadays um, I don't know is, is it like that where y'all are from let me know I don't know I think it is I think it's just everywhere now back when I was a kid we didn't sit inside and play on the <laughs> phones or the iPads or watch TV we went outside and got dirty and I, my childhood was a blast for that reason them, but kids nowadays they don't want to go outside they want to sit inside and play on their iPads and play video games and I'm just not about that I just don't like the idea of that I think kids should be outside get an exercise and yes I think that you know technology and stuff can definitely help make kids smarter because kids are so smart these days like they come out of the womb knowing how to use technology <laughs> but at the same time it's like you need to slow down to be a kid because some things 
um, like as far as technology and giving them access to that stuff can kind of uh, corrupt their little minds and I'm not okay with that but that's just my little spiel there my little rant <laughs> but anyways here I am doing the bathroom so it is um, three bedroom right technically or two bedroom optional office study area so there is only one bathroom usually in my builds I try to have an ensuite for the master but for this specific floor plan and house I decided that it wasn't really necessary because it's kind of like a small little family starter not starter home like I talked about earlier uh, but I think that it turned out really cute and I did use the little stool with the plant like I always do but I used a different plant this time so I'm I'm switching things up <laughs> but here is the little spare bedroom study area office and it's like really really small so if you did want to use this for a bedroom there's not a lot of space it's kind of like a little closet room but I decided to just give them a little desk here with a laptop and I did give them a laptop just because of the fact that if they wanted to grow their family and didn't want to move they have this extra bedroom and they could easily just take that laptop put it in their inventory and use it elsewhere and I did give them a uh, treadmill as well I just figured that they would be a little bit more fit I do think that like John's into working out maybe I don't remember maybe Jennifer is I don't know but I feel like that you know every morning she'd get up and have her a nice run or something like that but yeah I just tried to clutter this room up a lot and then also I did give them a basement which I don't think I mentioned when I talked about the floor plan at all uh, I end up making it a little bit smaller but I didn't have a lot of room to make a laundry room and I usually don't use uh, basements very often just because they're not familiar where I'm from but I really like creating them in the Sims I love that little storage shelf there it just reminds me of a garage and a, you know, a place to put all of your junk and everything so yeah they have a basement with a little door that leads down from the hallway which I think is really nice but anyways y'all this build is wrapping up so I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did it is available for download on the gallery all of that information is linked down below if you like liked it give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you have not and with that being said i will talk to you guys later bye